Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video. So something I want to share with you, I microdose every single day. Before you get all worked up and call the cops on me, it's totally legit. I'm just talking about my tretinoin. Okay, so some of you may not know about microdosing. Some of you might, and I'm asking no questions. Microdosing is taking very teeny tiny small amounts of powerful active ingredients, and you're taking small amounts because you're trying to get the benefits of the ingredients without any downside or side effects. You may have heard of this connected to psychedelics, and while it is not legal, nor am I suggesting you do this, there has been research that indicates very, very tiny amounts can reduce anxiety and depression. So the reason this whole thing has come into being specifically is around the use of tretinoin. Now, if you've been here before, you probably know that I had a terrible bout with my skin about two years ago, and it required me to stop all of my actives. I stopped retinoids, I stopped exfoliation, even vitamin C, I stopped everything. And then fast forward to a year or so later, I slowly reintroduced some of those ingredients last year, such as the vitamin C and the exfoliants but not the retinoids, I was just too scared. But I did decide that it's time to do it now because most of us know that in the anti-aging space, uh, tretinoin is the gold standard. It is the most effective ingredient that we can use in order to fight the signs of aging. It speeds up the turnover of our cells. It helps to build collagen and elastin, which plumps our skin and reduce the fine lines and wrinkles. It thickens the epidermis and it also helps to reduce pigmentation. So, I mean, the research is there. Everybody knows if you want to get these kind of benefits, the best way to do it is through prescription tretinoids. So just to back up a little bit in my own history with retinoids, I never did any kind of retinoids. No retinol, nothing over the counter. I decided at the age of 42 it was time to enter some retinoids into my skincare routine and I really didn't go the over-the-counter route. I went straight for prescription. I went into my GP and asked very specifically for a 0.05% tretinoin. My doctor actually hadn't heard of it, didn't know what it was, went and did the research and said that's fine, that's no problem. But I was very clear about how I was going to introduce it because it's known for causing sensitivities. So in order to start at such a high percentage of the strongest you can get, I started very slowly. I did one day a week for a month and then the next month I added a second day and the next month another day. So I was very slowly introducing my body to these potentially irritating ingredients. So because I did that so slowly, my skin had no problem whatsoever. It was fine. So I did that for about five years. And after five years, I decided I wanted to bump it up to the 0.1%. That is the strongest that you can get on prescription, at least as far as I know, or at least then anyway. And that's when things started to go a bit iffy. You know, I started getting that standard tret peeling. Now for me, it was around the nose and it was around the mouth and a little bit on the chin. You know, that peeling that you get, and it just kind of kept going and I kind of couldn't get rid of it. And after a while, I just gave up because it wasn't worth it. I was spending too much time trying to deal with covering up how bad that looked. So I just stopped. And after about a year, you know, the crow's feet get a little deeper and the pigmentation was coming back and I just found that the skin texture wasn't great. So I've decided to re-enter again. So I joined a company in the UK called Dermatica and they're one of these compound pharmacies. And what that means is that they formulate based on your requirements. So you do it online, you get an assessment and they send it to your house every month. So like I know in the US they have companies like Curology and the agency that do the same sort of thing. So that allowed me to get a good mix for my skin. I was getting hydroquinone for my hyperpigmentation and I was getting my my tretinoin. So I started off on the 025, which is kind of a standard starting place, I do believe. Or maybe that was just based on my history with tret. But I very quickly, within two months, I was up to 0.05. Now I was badgering them saying, dude, I've been on tret for years. Can you please bump it up? And they did. And then within another month, I was on the 0.1%. So I'm right back up at the highest levels. And it was okay. I'd still get a little bit of peeling, but I was okay with it. It actually wasn't bad at all. But something else happened. There's this sort of micro peeling thing that started to happen. I'm not blaming Dermatica or necessarily tretinoin. For me, I think it was a combination of things. I was doing too much exfoliation, too many actives, and I was overstimulating my skin. Either way, I started getting this experience of it felt like pilling. You know, I was washing my face one day and I kind of got this, you know what pilling is like when you put products on that don't, that don't jive together. They get those little things. I thought, what is that? I was washing my face. It was the end of the day. Like there shouldn't have been anything on it. I wasn't combining anything. I thought that's really weird. Got up the next morning, washed my face, same thing. Something wasn't right. Now, coincidentally, I was at the beauty salon. I was getting waxing done and I asked the, the girl, I said, would you have a look at my skin and tell me what's going on? And she said, your skin is peeling. Just there was like small little microscopic little peels happening everywhere. So I was like, oh shit. I stopped everything. 
everything. And I went to minimalist skincare. I did skin fasting, which meant I put nothing on my skin for five days. And I started using products that were only microbiome friendly. So there was nothing going on my skin that was going to irritate it and that was going to have an adverse reaction. So anyway, fast forward another year or so later, and I've slowly gotten back into some of these things and my skin is doing great. So I decided it was time. So that's what leads me to our microdosing and where we are now. So I was chatting with my friend Trish at work and she told me about Skin and Me, which is one of these prescription services that she's been using for ages and was really, really happy with it. So I decided I'd give it a try. So if you've done this before, you'll know this process. If you haven't, the way that it works, you fill out a pretty in-depth questionnaire online. They're wanting to understand about the history of your skin, what type of skin you have, what you use, as well as what your skin goals are, because everyone's is going to be different, whether it's acne, whether it's pigmentation, it could be fine lines and wrinkles, whatever. And then you upload photographs of yourself. So you take the forward, you take a left and a right, and all of this is submitted and then reviewed by their dermatologists. And they will determine, A, if you're suitable for their products at all, and B, what's gonna be the right formulation for your skin and for your goals. So I got my first you know, delivery in the mail, and I have to say, I was so pleasantly surprised for so many reasons. I think these guys are doing something different. So the first is I love the packaging that it comes in. It's actually, not only is it cute and cheerful, but when you open it up, it's perfectly customized. It has my name on it. It has my monthly goals. It has my monthly breakdown of prescription elements. It's just for me, and I think that's so nice. And this is where I started to realize the microdosing philosophy was really in the breakdown of ingredients from the very beginning. So my prescription has three different ingredients. We're gonna save the best for last. And the first is 4% niacinamide. That's all about minimizing pores. It's helping to even the skin tone. It helps with hyperpigmentation. I mean, it's just a great little ingredient. The second ingredient is 4% azeliac acid. And that is a naturally occurring chemical exfoliant that helps to slow down melanin production. So that's gonna help with my hyperpigmentation. And it's also a, an antioxidant that helps with inflammation. So the last ingredient, or should I say the first ingredient and the star of the show is tretinoin. And this is where I started to have a little giggle because when I looked at the concentration of tret in this, I kind of went, what? Is that a typo? It was 0 0.006, 0 0.006, like that's nothing. Like that's nothing. I was like, what? So I emailed them immediately with the what? Why is this so low? Can you bump me up please to a 0.05? I've been doing track for years. And the answer was no because these guys don't believe in skin cycling. So enough dermatologists have said that regular usage is more effective than occasional or intermittent usage, and that's their philosophy. You're much better at using even lower amounts if you do it every single day. So that is their goal. Their goal is to use this every single day. So their theory is super slow and super low, and every month they update it just by a fraction so that your skin continues to adjust to the presence of what can be very sensitizing tretinoin. For me, I went from a 0.006 the next shipment was a 0.009, next was 0012, and now I'm on to 015. So that's 0.015. So I'm slowly making my way up. I really don't have any idea at what point they're gonna stop. So I will continue to give them regular updates via photography. I kind of keep this up and they assess my skin and they determine where I go next. Okay, but then it gets even better because the form factor of how they administer, <laughs> That was sort of the first problem of how they administer this, the, uh, the medication. So this is what the tube looks like. And when you first get it, I couldn't get the lid off. Like it was like stuck. And I actually had to go and look on YouTube to figure out how to open the darn thing. It was just really hard to get that off. Okay. But this is what is so interesting is that it is marked. First of all, my name is actually on it. It says, hi, Mary. And it tells me right on here who prepared it. Um, thank you very much, Samantha. No, Stephanie, Stephanie, out of my glasses. Stephanie prepared this and it tells me what the breakdown is so that I can track it. That's just fab. It's just right on this little thing. But what's even better is that it's all marked. So there are little notches in this and it indicates exactly how many days there are. So you never have to wonder how much is left in it because it's all, they're always going to ship you out a new one before this runs out anyway. But this shows me here that I have, I think it says 28 days left. So I know every single day what's gone. And that's the other beauty of it is the way that it's administered. You just click it to the right, it clicks and administers the exact right amount of product. You never have to wonder if you're using too much. And that's part of the problem with tretinoin is people put too much on. And this will work for my face, for my neck and my chest. Let me also say no neck or chest sensitivity yet either, which did happen with me in the past. 
This is perfect. So that's what I wanted to introduce you to today. I can't believe how happy I am to A, be back on the tretinoin train, and to B, to be doing it in a way that I know is easing me back into it. So I'm able to use it every day. Microdosing, yay, totally works. I've had no sensitivities. I've had no issues whatsoever. I slip this straight into my regular evening routine and it's working a treat. I haven't felt dry, I haven't felt any irritation. So this is just a fab service. So I've only been doing this now since February, but so far so good. I mean, microdosing may be the way. I didn't even realize until I was looking at my packaging today that I actually have a discount code. I didn't know I had a discount code, so I will put the details on the screen so you can see that. And the beauty of that is if you decide to use this code, they also donate um, 10 pounds to charity. And speaking of pounds, this could be the only downside for some of you guys watching. This is only available in the UK. So anybody in the US, if you're watching, or anywhere else in the world, sorry, it's really only available in the UK. So anybody watching from the UK, you're golden, and I think these guys are definitely worth checking out. So guys, that is it for today's video. Personally, I'm thrilled to be back on the Tret train. Are you Tretinoin users yourselves? Uh, and how are you getting it? What sort of format are you using in? Are you having any trouble? For me, this has just been a godsend. Oh, may it continue. Um, thank you so much for joining today. I hope you put your comments and your thoughts down below because I do always love hearing from you. So thanks again for joining. If you like this video, I do hope you'll subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye. And that's all about minimizing tor <laughs> <laughs>